So our experiment today is bouncing eggs. So this is actually a pretty easy one supply-wise. The only thing you're going to need is a glass filled with white vinegar or a jar and an egg. So this one's pretty simple. It's the time that you're going to need for this one. So the only thing we're actually going to do right now is put our egg into our jar of vinegar. I'm just going to drop it gently in there. We don't want it to break. You're gonna put your lid on. And it's that simple right now. The hard part is that we have to wait 24 hours before we can take our egg out of the jar. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hey lab rats. So it's been 24 hours since we put our eggs in our vinegar jars. So we're gonna open them up and see how we're doing. So we've got some pretty pungent aromas here. Vinegar and eggs aren't a great combination. So your egg probably feels a little bit, almost like a bouncy ball, probably. So if we can, we're gonna get that egg out. I might use tweezers. I'm gonna try my tweezers. You always use your hands there. Tweezers might be a bad idea too, though. Very slimy. I'm gonna ad lib here. I'm just trying to jump out on my vinegar. Once you've got your egg out of the vinegar, you want to start rubbing it. Ours maybe didn't sit as long as they could have. You could let yours sit a little bit longer. But you want to rub the shell away so that it just looks like the yolk inside. So it should be sort of a yellowy color. If you want to make your bouncing egg colored, you can always add food coloring, but we chose not to today. Definitely not a clean hands experiment. <laughs> now, your lid is coming off pretty well over there. If you've got nails or just the edge of your thumb, it's coming off pretty easily. You can sort of see the two different colors there where your shell's disintegrated and is coming off. should be pretty soft when you take it out. If it's not, you might want to leave it in there a little bit longer. So a couple hard parts on mine, so I'm just going to leave those rather than trying to pick them off and potentially popping my egg. paper towels close by just to wipe our hands off because they are going to get yet yeah, pretty gunky covered in vinegar and soft eggshell I guess so have something close by to, that's easy to clean up a mess with. I'm also dripping a lot too on mine so it's good to have something underneath whether that's paper towel as well or a plate or something like that so that you don't sort of drip vinegar and egg gunk all over the place. get our labs dirty. So once it's sort of as clean as you can get it, as you can see mine's pretty yellow. Bring you in for a closer look. Then they should be ready to bounce. shell on it still that's okay you can see Ashley's is quite yellow but she still has some white parts like we said the longer you leave it in the more the vinegar will rub away the shell so mine's pretty yellow there I'm going to try to bounce mine while Ashley finishes up rubbing her shell away. So what's happening here is that the vinegar has broken away the shell 
And then it just sort of leaves the outside film that you would get on an egg regularly, and that allows us to bounce our egg. So as you can see, it's kind of bouncy. Mine, I think, has a hole in it, so it's sort of spouting a little bit. <laughs> ah! You can only bounce it so high before it explodes. Science isn't always clean. <laughs> no. Nick's looking not too bad. I know I'm a little nervous now to bounce mine after Haley's exploded there. That looks pretty good. You know, I feel like I've got a soft spot though. Not too bad. I feel like mine's also leaking maybe a little bit. <laughs> I might stop there before mine does explode as well. So the longer you leave it in, as Haley said, I think the bouncier your egg will get. Let's see how high you guys can bounce your eggs at home, lab rats. See you next week.